what's up? Gugil back again with another Demon Hunter set dungeon challenge video, this time covering off the Unhallowed Essence set dungeon. Now, like with the last video I posted about the Shadows Mantle set, I'm going to cover off quickly the gear that I used, cover off the build that I used, show you guys where the dungeon's located, and then cover off the objectives ending with showing you guys the actual completion run that I did. Now, the reason I'm posting the Unhallowed Essence after the Shadow set is because the Shadow set was very, very simple to do. And the multi-shot one, the Unhallowed Essence one, is a little bit trickier. It's not what I would say difficult. It can actually be really frustrating depending on how the mobs spawn in the map. But it's a little bit more fun. It's a little bit more engaging. So the next one we'll post up after will be Martyrs, which was easy. And then we'll finish off with Natalia's, which is kind of challenging. So as with all set dungeons, you guys need to make sure that you have your six-piece of whatever set you're doing equipped. Since we have Unhallowed Essence, we're gonna be equipping the Unhallowed Essence set. Not really much has changed for Unhallowed Essence except for the fact that we got a buff on our four set bonus, which is we now have 50% damage reduction and 50% increased damage for five seconds if no enemy is within 10 yards of you. So as you can see, my toughness is much, much higher than it would be on live servers. I use the classic Yang's recurve along with Dead Man's Legacy, which has received a nice buff. As you can see there, the multi-shot damage now is actually able to roll from 75% to 100% instead of just the regular 10 to 15%, which it is on live. I'm using Hunter's Wrath with Wraps of Clarity. And you guys might be wondering why I'm using physical. Well, part of it is A, because I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to re-roll the elemental every single time that I do this. But the other bit to do with it, and we'll cover it off in the build right now, which is... I'm using multi-shot full broadside. I'm taking. I'm going away from Arsenal. I'm going away from shooting out all the rockets because for this set dungeon challenge, as you'll see later on, uh, you really want to minimize things that are being killed from damage that you're not intending to put out. And this is just a broad spray of multi-shot. You don't have to worry about rockets tailing off and killing something else and it not counting in your kill counter. Uh, everything else is pretty much very standard for what we would already be using on live servers, evasive fire, preparation, vault, Mark for Death, and Companion. Now you might notice here that I don't have a follower. The reason for that is again, the set dungeons are tuned very, very low. It's very, very easy for things to die from outside sources. And I actually found when I was doing the set dungeon, the Templar was just running around and whacking things and they were dying and it was affecting my ability to complete the dungeon. So I actually have dismissed the follower and I would even question having the Bat Companion. I happen to do it with the Bat Companion, but I did notice the Bat Companion doing some damage. So it's something also to keep in mind. If we go look at the cube, I'm just using Pride's Fall, so I'm not really focusing on resource at all. I could just pretty much spray multi-shot whenever I need to. Calamity. Then the big one here is the Countess Julia's cameo. And the reason why I'm using this in the cube is because in the set dungeon there are elite packs there. There are elite spiders. And what I found in doing them is that if for whatever reason you don't one-shot the spider or you just don't see it on your screen, it has the ability to use Jailer on you. And the Jail actually deals a huge amount of damage and it can one-shot you which will cause you to fail the set dungeon. So once I equip the Countess Julia's cameo in my cube, you prevent all arcade damage and you can get jailed and nothing happens to you and it's fine and you can just breeze through the dungeon. So that's the gist of what I used for it. I'll show you guys exactly where to find it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Act 2 and go to Howling Plateau, which is, you remember from the campaign, it'll be the area right after the beginning part of Act 2. So you're going to actually go backwards into the canyon and we'll just vault through here quickly. And you go all the way to the back here. And then as you can see, here is our nice little portal to show us where the set dungeon is here. So like, again, this will not open if you don't have the six set equipped in some capacity, either five set with Royal Ring of Grandeur or having your six set equipped. So again, we click on this, we get our list of what set dungeons are. I explained that in my last video so you guys can just read it here quickly and then we'll move on so you guys can actually see the objectives. So the objectives of the dungeon so we have our standard kill X amount of monsters without taking fatal damage. It's important to not take fatal damage, so don't be careless. And then the Unheld Essence specific masteries involve hit 20 enemies with a single multi-shot and never exhaust your discipline. Now, if you're using your Unheld Essence properly, you probably will never exhaust your discipline. But something to keep in mind because you really don't want to be using your evasive fire too much because it's going to kill monsters and it's not going to count for your multi-shot counter. And the real challenge with this, and I, I don't want to say it's necessarily a challenge, but sometimes depending on how the mobs spawn in the set dungeon, they don't line up perfectly for you. And you might find yourself getting frustrated spraying multi-shots into a pack and you get 18 enemies. There will actually be a counter, and I'll show you here when we go a little bit into the dungeon. You'll see here that 
these bobs will all be here. And when you actually shoot off a multi-shot like this, it'll give you a counter that tells you how many enemies you hit. And you're going to have some times where you're going to hit 17, 18, 19, and it's going to really frustrate you. And the kind of objective that you really need to watch out for is making sure that you line up. So not just coming in here and spraying right away, just coming in, seeing what's going on, and then be able to go, okay, maybe if I go here, I'll hit enough. And there you go, I hit 26. So right away, we got one out of six. So you have to do that six times without exhausting your discipline, not taking fatal damage, and then killing as many monsters within the time limit. Overall, this is one of the more fun ones. It's more engaging. Like I said, the Shadows one was very, very easy to do. I one-shot it basically every time that I do it. And the Martyrs is also an easy one to do. This one was a little bit more engaging. I'm sure when it's tuned up a little bit from where it is now on the PTR, it'll actually become one of the more fun, challenging ones, considering that you can't just walk through the spiders. At that time, you'll probably get one or two shot by them. But it's very fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed my description and my guide. I'm going to post now the video that was the full set dungeon clear. And if you guys are wondering, hey, what do I get from doing this? Well, doing this dungeon by itself, you don't actually get anything. But the goal here is to go into your achievements tab. And you look here and you see mastering the different set dungeons. And when you do them all, right now they're kind of they're bugged on the PTR, I think, because I have I've done all of these. Like you guys saw in the last video, I actually did do the mastery for this one. I just didn't get the achievement for you. But you do get banner singles. And when you complete all the Demon Hunter set dungeons, you do get Demon Hunter pennants that are specific to your class. So that is an incentive to go out and do this. And like I said, I'm sure it's going to be tied in to Season 5 Journey as well. If you're interested in the Season 5 Journey portraits, I'm sure it's going to be tied in completing these different set dungeons. So I hope you guys enjoy. Here's a clear video. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think of this stuff. And if you really, really have some feedback that you want to give to the Diablo devs, make sure that you post that on the forums because they are looking for feedback on these set dungeons. Thanks, guys.